Hey there, strangers, my name's Eos, and welcome back once again to Cortex Command. Hey, guess what? I like giant robots. Do you like giant robots? Of course you do! Who doesn't? Lousy giant robot haters, that's who. Well, today, we're gonna get a chance to sate that overwhelming need for giant metallic destruction by taking a look at a mod that somebody made starring one of the granddaddies, one of the longest running series of giant robot violence out there. I'm, of course, talking about Gundam! The original Gundam! The Gundam that I haven't actually even seen, but still Gundam nonetheless, and I am I am super behind some giant robot fighting because I I like me some giant robots, I'm not gonna lie. So today I believe we're gonna do a brain versus brain match. We're gonna go ahead and crank the difficulty up to nuts difficulty with an exclamation point so you know that it's serious. And I was looking around for a uh, a fitting map that would fit, you know, giant robots that fight in space and on the ground and in the water, in the sky, all over the place. And I was thinking about going to the asteroid level. But then I remembered I recently just played through the asteroid level in my uh, Star Wars Battlefront, uh, you know, the, the thing with the stormtroopers and the clone troopers. They fought in space. So I was looking around for another one and I ran across Ragnarok, which seems very much like a futuristic city. So that seems like a good place for us to start there. So what we are going to do is I am going to go down here and I'm going to be playing as Mobile Suit Gundam. And I'm going to be fighting against Mobile Suit Gundam. We are going to have a proper giant robot fight off. That's, that's a weird way to say that. Giant robot battle. Giant robots are going to fight each other and explode and it's going to be glorious. And that's exactly what I want. So everything's going to be unfair difficulty. We got the difficulty up to nuts for the AI and all the, the thinky robots are pretty high. So uh, this should be hopefully a good time. So we're gonna, get, we're gonna go ahead and give everybody about 10,000 ounces of gold. And without further ado, here we go. Bring on the giant metallic destruction because that's exactly what I'm looking for. So here we go. Ooh, ooh look at that robot. Oh, he looks about the same size as a regular Cortex Command guy. But no, it's a giant robot, which means all this is really huge. So this level, as I was saying, I believe looks kind of somewhat pseudo-futuristic because... Ooh, what is that you're holding? I don't even know. We'll, we'll look at that in a minute. But you see, um, the enemy here has this giant complex, which looks really cool. It's got this big lookout post that nobody's in. We got a whole bunch of giant mechs in there. It's super cool. I like that. It's apparently a really big brain because it's nearly the size of a head of a giant mech. <laughs> That's not the point. And my, uh, my futuristic city seems to be the bigger one. I love their futuristic building, I should say. And it seems to also be uh, levitating. I have a giant floating skyscraper, and I am totally cool with that. That seems pretty cool. So, what do you say we look at uh, what we have to work with here? So, I actually went ahead and looked at this earlier. In fact, I actually tried to do this episode earlier, and then the frame rate was stuck at, like, 11, and I had to spend, like, 20 minutes fixing it. But it's back, and it seems to be working, so hopefully you'll stick with it. So, uh, what we have here is they seem to not have too, too, too many uh, mechs, or bodies, I should say. But we do have a Zaku, which is cool. We've got a Gundam. we got a different kind of Gundam. we got some other stuff that I don't actually know what is. By the way, for those of you curious, my knowledge of the Gundam universe is a uh, Gundam Wing, Gundam Seed, but we're not going to talk about Gundam Seed, and uh, G Gundam, which I actually haven't seen much of that. Most of, it was mostly uh, Gundam Wing, because that's what was brought over on uh, Toonami and Adult Swim over on uh, Cartoon Network over here in the United States back in it was like the early 2000s or something like that. So that's the most of my knowledge of this. I don't really know about the Universal Century, which I believe is what this is from. But still, I love giant stupid robots, and it seems like it could be kind of fun. So we're going to do that. So tools, I don't think they actually have any tools. They do not have any tools whatsoever. However, under guns, they have... A lot of guns! Like, a lot of guns. Not even all these are guns. Like, this is a giant space laser axe or something like that. That is super cool. Also, this right here, this hyper bazooka, this is a... It's a bazooka that, like, the original Gundam guy, I don't know if it was the first Gundam, I think it was, like, a second or third Gundam has. It's just a giant bazooka. But what's interesting about that is, uh, I actually have, I actually have an action figure of this with the Gundam that comes with it on my desk right now. In fact, it's it's right there. I'm pointing it. I'm looking at it. I'm touching it with my finger. It's up here and it looks really cool. I, I like that. It's, it's kind of neat. So I'm probably going to use that because I know what that is. So under bombs, we have a dagger. Excuse me. 
A, a dagger is not a bomb. So it's a crackler grenade. That seems kind of cool. That's a shield deployer. That's not a grenade either. Or a bomb or whatever. What do you have under shields? A bazooka is also not a shield. A bazooka is the opposite of a shield. It doesn't protect you. It's used for exploderizing everyone else. But either way, it's kind of cool. We got lots of shields. We got that's a bullpup. That's a giant bullpup. That's an SMG. But uh, it's cool that they have stuff that's in the wrong spot, though. So either way, what do you say we get started? So what should we start with? What do you say we start with a good old-fashioned Zaku? Which I knew nothing about other than they've got the cool, like, one glowy eye that floats around. It's really doesn't float around. It's inside of its giant helmet. It looks cool, and I like it. So what do you say? Let's say, ooh, a missile launcher. We can go with a missile launcher. It's, oh, oh, it's actually a proper Zaku bazooka. Oh, Zaku. What do you, and a Zaku machine gun. What do you say we go with a proper Zaku? We're gonna start with a Zaku and work our way up from there. Big mass-produced model of giant mech that will uh, be cool to destroy stuff. It doesn't look like they actually have their own drop pod. Oh, that's actually disappointing. I wanted to just use straight up Gundam stuff, but you know what's fine? We're gonna use a drop crate to drop our giant mech in from space, and then we're gonna get wreck some dudes with it, because that seems like a lot of fun. In fact, what do you say? That actually didn't cost that much, so let's make a second Zaku and put him over here for either A, a pincer maneuver, or B, uh, I might just take one guy when that guy dies. Oh, I'll go over there! Oh, you're green and yellow. Oh, I like your colors. That's really cool. So you got a big old Zaku bazooka! I love it! And also a giant machine gun! So these things, where they're like, I'm actually not sure. They're probably like 50 feet tall, 60 feet tall, something around that range. So that's, it's a really big bazooka. Also, there seems to be a gun up there. It doesn't seem to notice I'm here yet. Hi, how are you? I hope you don't mind a sneak attack. Hi. Oh, oh, oh. Did you, he didn't notice. He didn't notice. It's fine. He didn't notice. He's on the hardest difficulty, but luckily he's kind of stupid because he's in Cortex Command. But either way, Kablamo! What was that? Hello? Is he dead? Is the robot bleeding out? He's, he's, he's playing dead. He's playing possum. I can feel it. He's, gonna, he's trying to sneak up on me. Let's just do this again. And Kablamo. Yeah! Oh! Whoa! He doesn't exist anymore. He's just gone. That's kind of glorious. Let's see. What's the best way to infiltrate here? Ooh, there's actually a front door. What do you say we go knock on the front door? And by knock on the front door, I mean I'm going to fire a rocket through their freaking door and blow that guy to smithereenies. Hi, smithereenies for you. Ooh, luckily I've got a giant machine gun. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You doing good over there? It, lo it looks like you're not. It looks like you're kind of done. Well, I seem to have broken your gun. That's cool. Hold on. I'm gonna reload. You stay there. You know, you wait right there, Mr. Guy in a mech. Don't you hit your self-destruct button and try to blow us both up. Nope, it's all you. You're the- That was mine! <laughs> he, he accidentally- Ooh. Oh, look, he destroyed himself. Here's his head. Oh, no. The, the, the pilot is in there somewhere. I should destroy him and be like a, a, a an evil coward or something. I don't know. The Zakus were on the bad side, I'm pretty sure. At least they're, they're on the opposite side of the Gundams, at least. So I'm going to assume they're bad guys. But the problem with the Gundam series is, is that there's no clear good guy or bad guy, which I never actually liked. I like there being a proper good guy so that when they're just flying around destroying each other with giant mechs, I don't feel bad for all the guys who get exploded. Because I, I like there to be a, a clear-cut good guy and bad guy. It's just how I am. So I've got a shield, but I don't actually know if the shield does anything. I could I could find out. Why not? Let's find out if the shield is actually a shield or if it's just part of your design. So shield, it seems like you're not really shielding it. And you also now have no health. You've got no body. Oh! Oh, he made a Gundam noise when he exploded! Oh, that was cool! Okay, so we've got a Zaku there who's got a big pile. Oh, that's his... uh. So right here is this drop pod. That's cool. We got a Zaku there. That's cool. What do you say we start with uh, something else? Like, maybe a Gundam? Because why not? I mean, this might be the first Gundam. I don't actually know. I'm sorry. I apologize. But still, we're going to try some Heat Hawk. I'm pretty sure that's not a Gundam weapon. I'm going to save that for a minute. I, I don't know how good that actually is, but I want to save it. Uh, missile launcher. Uh, atomic bazooka. Um, the Triker's Assault Shield. Oh, it's a shield. That's kind of cool. What are all these things? A, oh, a beam saber! It's a giant lightsaber. It's called a beam saber. It's just a giant lightsaber, and that's what I want right there. So what do you say we use that in, uh... Okay, we still have quite a bit of funds after that's done with, which seems like a good deal to me. Let's drop them up there. I'm really surprised they're not really attacking, considering they have, uh... They have just as many funds as me, and I put them on a high difficulty. Let's get the Zaku Bazooka. and go blast this guy in the face. Hello, Mr. Sentry Dude. How are you? I missed... Oh! You one shot him. Whoa, okay, what are you doing? Stop, stop whatever you're doing. Go back the other way. That, that, that's a proper Gundam and it one shot my Zaku. 
That's not cool. What is this? Ooh, 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 is that seeking? No, why is he going that way? They tried firing backwards, I don't know why. Ooh, yeah, fire, 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 reload! What's that dude? Yeah! Why, I don't know why they're turning around. That's super weird. I don't know, we got a rocket launcher, that's cool. What is this one? It's, oh, it's a, okay, my, is that how your axe works? His axe just, like, it gets hot and it murders everything in front of it. That's really weird. Ooh, what is that? What is this thing? This is the long blade. Ooh, it's a stabby device. I like it. If I use that inside. Oh, my beam saber. Oh, I got a beam saber. It's just a lightsaber. It's a giant mech-sized lightsaber. That's all that is. Oh, the atomic bazooka. Fire! What do you do? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> that could not have been a more perfect shot. And on top of that, it wouldn't have mattered. It would have been a terrible shot because that killed everything in like a quarter mile radius considering how big these things are that's absurd what is this this is the oh it's a missile launcher again to reload that so i might go ahead and just uh I might switch over to some of my melee weapons since we're going inside we're gonna go inside this place that has rooms big enough for or hallways big enough for like a 50 foot tall robot oh no don't flip oh no 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 go this way this way there we go we're gonna stab that guy we're gonna stab him with this lance now you know what i want to use i want to use the beam saber because, oh, you're reloading your beam saber. That's super weird. I really should have given this guy a, uh... So, oh, wait, where's that go? The one. Where's the teleporter go? I don't... No. You can teleport straight into my base! Oh, wow, it's a good thing you're being really dumb. It's fine, though. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Lightsaber time! Okay, there's the things in the way. Lightsaber to the groin! Oh, groin. You know what? I think it's time for you to go. Bye! See you later! Okay, that may have not been the, uh... The smartest choice, but you know what? I stand by that 110% because that was fun. All right, let's go with uh, let's go with a different gun. Let's go with that guy. I hear noise. Is somebody actually attacking now? So I'm really surprised. I'm a little disappointed that they're not attacking. I'm really surprised they're not attacking. What do you say we give this guy a bunch of stuff, including my hyper bazooka? Because I like me my hyper bazooka. Who's that guy? Is that who's an enemy? <gasps> they actually brought in some enemies. Yay! Let's go and. Uh, Let's assault them. Let's drop it up here and fight back. We're gonna just do a preemptive strike. Hey, they seem to have noticed. I might as well uh, drop this in over here, I guess, maybe. I, I, uh, I didn't actually think they were gonna attack since they took so long to attack. What is that gun? It's a, a beam rifle. Ooh, and then we got a bit. Oh, that, that's just a grenade. Have this grenade. Oh, that was a good throw. For once, this game actually had a good throw. Go, that still killed nothing, though. It's, it was kind of a good throw. Ooh, this guy has no jetpack. He's got like a launchy thing. Oh, reloading. This is a terrible time to reload. Ooh, ooh, fire. Did I break your thing? Oh, you fire really slowly. I broke his gun. Oh, this guy's got a blunderbuss. That's a giant blunderbuss on your super high-tech space robot. It's cool. Switch over to something else. Like this pistol. I got a pistol. Stay back. I'll kill you with my pistol. What does this guy have? What's this thing? I don't even know. It looks like a giant gun of some sort. Hi, I've got a big gun. It's, it, does it work? I don't know. What is this thing? <gasps> it's time for the Hyper Bazooka. Hyper Bazooka away! Yeah! Ooh, I almost killed two of them with one shot. Two robots with one stone. It's like I had no head. The robot has no head. No, don't shoot your friendly robot ally. That robot had no head and then he had like no like robot parts. He had no armor anymore. That's crazy. I love it. Okay, so where's these enemies? Ooh, one of them tried to get up there. Oh, ooh, that guy's trying to get in. I don't like it. What do you say? We sent... Oh, you don't have a jet... Did none of these have a jetpack? Because that's... Gundams usually have those because they go to space and they fly around and they fight in the sky and stuff. It's kind of weird that they're just kind of hoppy bots. It's cool. Just gonna go down here. Woo! And get ready for this. Are you ready for me to wreck your everything with my hyper bazooka? Because I like it. Hello. So what other... What things do I have? To Giant sniper rifle. Ooh, let's try this real quick. Hiya! Hi! And oh, no, don't notice me. Don't notice me, Senpai! I take it back! Okay, and Kablamo! Yeah! Ooh! Ooh, the frame rate died for a second there. Oh, that is multiple sh Yes! I love the sound of when they get wrecked. It's such a stupid old timey anime noise. It's so good. I love it a lot. Alright, so now we're gonna use you. What is this thing? Ooh, is that the is that thing that was a shield? It's a Trichos Assault Shield with a rifle something. I can't see what it is. That's fine. We got lots of stuff. Oh, it's got my stupid giant cannon of death. I love it so much. It's so cool. The only thing I'm disappointed at in that there's no uh no Big Zam. I want a Big Zam in this. I know Big Zam and Big Zam is dumb. 
I really, I want Big Zam to be in this. I, I would love it if somebody added that eventually. But what do you say we try to get up here and kill this guy first? You, oh, this guy actually, you have a jetpack? This guy's a jetpack. Their guy didn't have jetpack. I don't know why you do. Ooh, well, he, it's very, very short-lived. Uh, okay, so these guys actually have jetpacks, but they're really short burst jetpacks. If I let go, he stops. So, oh, come on. Okay, this guy has, like, no verticality, because he's kind of fat. I've given him way too many weapons. This is the wrong place for a weapon of that size. <laughs> that is stupid. Was Beam Saber! Oh, this one's red! Oh, look at that. And this is... What even is that? It's a... It's a is this a sword? Wait, sword? Rifle mode. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't I see... Yeah! I saw on the mod. The, uh, the guy who posted this mentioned that some of these, uh... Changeable weapons, if you go to gold digging mode, it switches to its other form! It's got a lightsaber, it's got... Harpoon mode. Okay, I, I kind of blew off that thing, but what does harpoon mode do? That... When I think harpoon, I mean, I think like grappling hook, but that's like a proper just... Thing for that! It's a harpoon that fires out and breaks stuff. Sword mode, harpoon mode! I'm not sure why it's a shield if I can't actually shield myself with it. It's... Uh, it doesn't... You know what? I don't even care. I'm just gonna go down here and shoot you with a harpoon made from space lasers! Hi, how are you? You doing good? How's your mom? She, she doing good too? She Does she get mind if I blow off your face? Oh no, you broke my stuff! So, oh, oh no! I, you actually broke his face! That's super cool! He's trying to come over here and squish me. That's my tactic. You're not allowed to use it. Let's fire at that guy. Oh, I squished him with my giant robot butt! Yeah, take that! Oh, are you ready? Are you ready for this, Mr. Brain? Oh, what you got? What you got, Brain? You got nothing. You know what? Before we kill that Brain, since they're taking a while, what do you say we, uh, let's just try one of their bombs for a second on the one remaining guy. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in everybody else I haven't seen yet. Bring in all these guys, and then we're gonna go with, we're just gonna give them stupid things. A beam sniper, and that, and, what, do we have any other big things? I think I used all the big ones. Uh, that's cool. Just bring in a few things there, and then we're gonna give you, uh, like that, and that, and that. This one guy is going to be super heavy, but I want to see what these things are before we end this. So that guy gets all the things, and we're going to just drop it in at your front door. Don't don't crash on me, game. I really, I prefer you not do that. Ooh, we get some, actually, we got some guys right here. We got some guys to actually uh, to assault. We got to fight. We got to protect our home. Now, oh, they, well, did they kill my guy? No, he's down here. So, <gasps> they killed Gundam Gary! No, Gundam Gary! Why? That's a terrible Gundam name, but that's your name apparently. Ooh, this guy right here. Wait, they have different. Ooh, they may have. No, I thought they spawned with weapons. It's cool. Ooh, this guy's got. What is that? It's firing like multiple shots off. Look at that. It's firing like two. Are you dual wielding? This guy. Gundam. Uh, the Steve. This one's Gundam Steve. He's like a stormtrooper. <laughs> His aim is like a stormtrooper. Yes, very much so. Uh, what is this gun? That's a different kind of gun. Ooh, a shield. Just got a shield and an assault rifle. Or a SMG, rather. Ooh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? You got nothing. I got a shield that I can't hold up because I'm, I'm crouching. Oh, 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 what you doing? What, did you get shot in the face? Did I, did I break your gun? I might have broken this gun. What's this thing? It's uh, an atomic shield. Okay. Can I, can I squish you with my atomic shield? Come down here. Come down here real quick. I just wanna... No, no, sir. Sir? Sir, no, sir. Stop going towards my brain. Well, I'm gonna squish you with my shield. Ooh, squish! Yeah! <laughs> that was good. I like that a lot. It was, it's more shields. Got lots of shields. Oh, that's a crackler grenade. No, I didn't mean to actually throw it at nobody. Oh, just like that. That's kind of cool. Oh, it made fire. Oh, it made fire. That's cool. So let's go down here and kill this other guy. Well, you have a really good air maneuverability. I like that. Oh, no. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. Sir. Sir, stop that, sir. What the, why couldn't I have used this guy earlier? This guy actually has a proper jetpack. Hi! How are you? I have a shield, thankfully. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I'm trying to shoot you in the face. This is doing no damage. Doing literally no damage. Uh, okay, that's a shield. This is a different shield. It's a bigger shield. You know what? Maybe I should just shield bash you. Hi, how are you? Would you like to be squished by a shield? Because it's coming. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah! Okay, so that guy's got a, a bunch of weapons that don't seem to do anything. So, what do you have? Well, let me see what the spear does. This is a... Ooh. Oh. Is that... What was... Okay, let's do the dagger. Dagger! No, catch yourself in the face! Not only did he, the, the dagger bounced off the wall and stabbed him in the face, but then he teleported his dead body. <laughs> what even? I don't know. It's it's glorious, though. I love it. This guy always dual wielding a stabby thing, like a lance and also an SMG. Oh, that's super cool. I like that. But what do you say? We go and, uh, go and finish this guy off. So, 
Oh, did I not give you a, uh... Oh, I didn't give him his, uh, hyper super mega cannon. Oh, yeah, I did. It got broken. It's fine. We're gonna stab you with a giant sword. I'm okay with stabbing you with a giant sword. A giant robot space sword. Oh, give me my giant robot space sword back. Hi, friend. How are you? Are you ready to get stabbed in the face? Yeah! The colonies and or Earth, whoever ends up being the actual good guys, is victorious! Thanks to giant robot technology! Ah, uh, giant robots are fun. Even if in Cortex Command, they all just look like the same size dudes. As far as I'm concerned, those were giant robots, and that was really glorious. So, this has been more Cortex Command. This time, with giant awesome robot fighting, thanks to the Mobile Suit Gundam mod, which I will link to down in the description below if you guys want to try it out for yourselves. I kind of recommend it. It was pretty fun. But either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed some giant robot violence, because, uh, who doesn't? It's super fun. I enjoyed it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Take care. And I will see you next time.